Hello everyone, so we will continue our windows function and in this particular video we are going to learn about few of the ranking windows function like row number, rank and dense rank and this is a very much important interview question also. So let's understand this. So whenever we have to assign a rank or number to rows based on the certain condition we use the row number rank and the dense rank. Let's take one example with that example let's understand. So I have an employee table, this is my employee table, I have an employee name, I have an employee ID, I have an employee department, I have an employee salary. Now suppose my requirement is like based on the employee salary, based on their highest to the lowest salary, I have to define a rank. So in this case what I have to do, based on their salary descending order, I will define one rank. So you can see who is the highest earning employee, Alice. You can see the 5000, his, his salary is the highest, right? So I will assign a rank 1. And after that, Bob, his salary is 2000. And the Charlie, his salary is also same. Then I will give us rank 3. Then we have a David. Then we will give rank 4. Then Avi, his salary is also same, but we will give the rank 5. So whenever you get a scenario like this, whenever you have to assign a, a rank or number based on the certain condition, we use the row number rank and dense rank. Now few of the use case, based on that we can differentiate the row number rank and dense rank. So whenever I will use a row number in this case, what will happen? It will assign a unique number for each rows. Now here you can see the highest earning employee is 5000, so he got rank 1. After that you can see Bob and Charlie, his salary is 3000. But what actually I am doing randomly, I am assigning a rank 2 for this Bob and rank 3 for this Charlie. This is the randomly, but both salary is same, right? But then also I am assigning a rank 2 and 3. And for David and Evie, you can see his salary is 2000 same only, but I am assigning a rank 4 and the rank 5. So whenever you will use a row number, in this case what will happen? Sequential number you will get uh, based on the your condition. Even though you have a duplicate record, the sequential number only it will generate. So that is the row number use case. Now when you will use a dense rank, when you will use a dense rank, in this case what will happen? Who is the highest earning employee? Alice, so he will get rank 1. After that, who is the second one? You can see Bob, right? His salary is 3000. But you can see this Charlie's salary is also 3000. So he will also get the rank 2. And after that, David 2000 so he will get the rank 3 and after that you can see uh, for the employee ID 5 his salary is also 2000 he will also get rank 3 because this 2000 2000 same salary right so he will get the rank 3 his salary is 3000 3000 so he will get the rank 2 so when you will use the dense rank in this case what will happen who if any duplicate value is there then it will assign the same rank for that so that is the thing we have to remember for the dense rank. Now when you will use a rank right, in this case what will happen? Who is the highest earning employee? Alice right, so he will get rank 1. Now after that you can see who is the second highest earning employee? Employee ID 2 and 3 right, so both salaries 3000. So in this case also what will happen? Same salary, same rank it will get assigned, 2 and 2. And after that uh, you can see the third is the David right, his salary is 2000. So in this case, ideally it should come 3, right? Because we have assigned two employees the same rank, 2 and it should be 3, right? But we are assigning the same rank. So in this case, what will happen? The next will be a 4. It will not come 3 because the two employees are getting the same. So we are assigning 2, then uh, because two are getting the same rank, then after that we will assign a rank 4. And uh, 5 also is the same salary, right? So we will assign a same rank 4. So suppose I'll take another example. Suppose I have a salary like this. Uh, 5,000, 3,000, 3,000. Let's consider this also a 3,000. Now in this case when I will use a rank, right? This rank when I will use. So what will happen? Who is the highest earning this? After this, uh, this is the second, this is the second, this is the second. So 2, 3, 4 and after that the fifth will come. So like that the rank will work. So based on the, if three employees are getting a same rank, so based on that it will try to create a graph and it will give me the number. So whenever you have to generate a sequence number based on the their ranking or something, then we use a row number. 
whenever you have a duplicate records and based on the duplicate records uh, you want to assign a same rank for the duplicate number we use a dense rank here without gap it will generate a number but in the case of the rank what will happen it will generate a same number for the duplicate record and after that it will give gap and it will generate the number so that is the thing we have to remember for the row number rank and the dense rank now let's see with the practical how actually we can use so you can see i have this tables employee table this is the table i have in this table i have a name employee id department and salary now i want to assign a rank based on their uh, highest salary to the lowest salary so what actually i will use how actually i can use a row number select star comma row number so what you have to use a row number after that you have to use over clause we'll use order by because based on the highest to the lowest salary we want right order by salary descending i will as, uh, give the column name as rn from employees one table so if i'll do this so what will happen because i am using a row number right so in this case what will happen uh, this rn this i have created a new column right with the help of the row number so what actually it is doing based on their salary it is assigning a rank so 5000 is the highest salary right so it is assigned the rank 1 then for 3000 it assigned rank 2 for 3000 assigned the 3 then 4 and the 5 now now same thing suppose if i am using a dense rank here so in this case what will happen select star dense rank over over clause and we have to use order by salary descending as rn from employees one table now in this case i am using a dense rank so our output will be you can see these two are getting a same salary right so it's assigned the rank two and after that these two are same salary to assign the rank three for both so without any gap now if i use a rank here the same query if we had to use a rank so in this case what will happen it will also generate a unique number but if any duplicate is present so it will assign the same rank and after that with gap it will start and it will generate the number so, so in the case of the rank with gap it will generate a number in dense rank it will not generate a with a gap so that is the only difference you have to remember and that is important interview question also now suppose this three together you have to write so how actually you can write so what i will use select star comma row number this thing i will use row number order by salary descending i'll give as a rn comma I will use a dense rank so this I will give as a rn1 after that I will use a uh, rank this I will assign a rank 3 from employees table now if I will execute this now you can see this rn is for the row number so it assigned a unique number for each rows rn1 if duplicate is there then it is assigning the same rank and after that uh, it is assigning the next one in the case of the rank what is happening with gap actually it will assign the number so this is the thing we have to remember so whenever you have to generate a sequence of number uh, we use a row number rank and the dance rank so where actually it will be useful now suppose you have to find out who is the fifth the highest earning employee who is the second highest earning employee who is the third highest earning employee so we will try to generate a, a row number like this or rank like this and based on that i can find out who is the second highest uh, earning employee you, you, when i will do a where rn1 equal to the two right so i will get the who is the high, second highest earning employee bob and the charlie so like that actually i will get here if i will use a row number it will not work because two people are getting the same salary right so who is the second highest 
so if i will use a dense rank here i will get the correct number because bob and charlie both are earning the same employee so based on the use case actually we use a row number dense rank and the rank so i hope you got the idea yeah that's it in this so thanks